This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Friday, the 18th of October. I'm Michael Groff. Somewhat cooler temperatures today through the weekend, but a warming trend will take place next week. And as for rain chances... Yeah, not looking too likely for the foreseeable future. Let's talk about it, though. The Almanac from yesterday, 96 degrees, the high in the valley. 71 was the morning low. The normals, 88 and 64. Outside right now, here at 8.20 a.m., we've got sunny skies out there, 73 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew points at 48, humidity 41%. The air is calm, and the barometer is rising. Temperatures out there this morning, 55, the cool spot at Fort McDowell, 58 in Buckeye, 61 at Goldfield. Most of us are in the upper 60s to low 70s. Upper air analysis this morning shows a trough passing primarily north of Arizona. That's where all the moisture and dynamics happen to be. But somewhat cooler air is filtering into the desert southwest. And that'll make for a very pleasant weekend ahead. The watch warning map. We've got winter weather advisories scattered about through the west. Some freeze warnings in parts of Pennsylvania and Maryland and tropical storm warnings for the Gulf Coast. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. Severe weather outlook for today, again with our tropical system, a marginal risk from around Panama City down to Fort Myers and Naples. A few spin-up tornadoes or water spouts possible there. Otherwise, no organized severe weather for the rest of the country. And the tropics, there's our potential tropical cyclone number 16, and this is moving very quickly to the northeast. It'll make landfall late tonight, tomorrow morning around Apalachicola, the Port St. Joe area. And yes, as mentioned, there could be a few isolated spin-up tornadoes, some gusty winds, but the real threat here is from heavy rain. And even that isn't really a huge threat since this will be moving rather quickly. But yes, heavy rain for the Florida Panhandle, southeast Alabama, Georgia, and the Carolinas before it gets out of here sometime late Saturday into Sunday. Speaking of rain, we could really use some here in the southwest, but guess what? The precipitation outlook for the next seven days from the WPC shows nothing in the valley, basically nothing statewide. As this tranquil weather pattern continues, we'll take a look at it in more detail as we check out the models. Here we go, the GFS, the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. There's the trough moving through the western states, a northwest flow aloft. So down at the surface, sunny skies today. It'll be cooler. Highs 83 to 86. Tonight, clear skies. Dry air, longer October nights means lows drop into the 50s valley wide. And then tomorrow and the weekend ahead really looks beautiful. Highs 84 to 87 for both Saturday and Sunday. Those overnight lows in the 50s. Get out and enjoy it. Monday, we'll tack on a degree or two. Highs still mid to upper 80s, though. And then ridging builds in for the southwestern states for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday and high temperatures each day should be in the low 90s. We might even sneak into the mid 90s one of those days. Here we go to a week from today. This is Friday the 25th. Our old friend the 588 Ridge It's still sitting along the west coast so a dry northwest flow persists and going out 10 days. The end of the period this is Sunday the 27th. More of a zonal flow in here. Temperatures come back closer to average if this verifies but we stay dry. Checking out the temperatures through the period off of the European Ensemble. And you get the idea by now. Highs somewhere between 86 and 92. Lows mostly in the 60s. Some mornings we will drop into the 50s. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video comes back here on Monday morning. And if you like our videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll be notified. And of course, your comments, questions, suggestions, always encouraged. Thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Be safe out there. And you guys have yourselves a fantastic weekend.